Right next door to Monterey is the small coastal town of Pacific Grove and the home of Alan and Marla Martin. Now the Martins are no strangers to home improvement. In fact, they're remodeling their kitchen right now. But when it comes to replacing windows, Alan has had a few false starts and could use a bit of help and guidance. And that, after all, is what my house calls are all about. Good, Marla. Gosh, what's going on with the butterfly wings? Turns out I've arrived just in time for the annual butterfly parade, which celebrates the return of the monarchs to their breeding grounds here in Pacific Grove. And little Riley Martin is all set to march in the parade. So I guess uh, we do this one. You and I will do it together. We'll run through the, the process here, and then you'll be all, you'll be all set to do the And I can others. go ahead and do the other yeah. three. I'll feel much more comfortable okay. doing it. While Marla takes the kids into town, Alan and I begin by removing the trim from around the old window using a hammer and a pry bar. Okay, uh, let's, the next thing I want to do is pull these, uh, pull these panes out here, okay? Probably that's going to be best done from the inside. Okay, I tell you what though, um, can we take a little break because the uh, butterfly parade is going to start. I can't miss my son in the parade. Can I join you? Yeah, you want to come? Yeah, All right, I'd love to. Go. The butterfly parade seems to turn out the entire town. So what are these right here? Those are moon jellies. Hi, moon jellies. Riley displays his wings with pride. Hey, bud. But now, hey, Alan and I have to get back to the windows. I ask Alan to remove as much of the glass as he can safely. This reduces the risk of a pane breaking when we take the window out later on. Like most windows, this one has a flange surrounding it. This flange, or fin, is a metal strip, usually an inch and a half wide, which is nailed into the framing of the house. In order to access the flange, we need to cut away some of the exterior siding that covers it. Using a compass, Alan draws a cut line about two inches from the edge of the window frame. Here's the uh, here's a saw I'd like to use. This is a little uh, three and a half inch circular saw. Oh. You just want to hold the guard back like this, rest the front of the foot right on the siding. We've adjusted our saw so that the blade will cut completely through the siding, but not into the framing below. With the cutting complete, we begin removing the pieces of siding. Okay, well these are loose right now. That's mm -hmm. great. Uh, I think if you use this curved pry bar, Alan, you'll be just... able to... Well, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. Look, First one. Take the one above it. Now it's time to remove the nails that have been driven through the flange. These are the only things now holding the window frame to the house. Okay, that's it. We're holding it. All right, out with the old. Next, right. we remove a two by four that the old window yeah. was resting on. Right. Well, here's the new one. This is a um, uh, double hung, double glazed window. This guy will give you a lot more insulation value here. We can just... Our new window is 45 inches wide by 47 inches high. The width of our rough opening is two inches wider than the new window, but the height is a bit too tight. You know what I think we should do is, um, let's take out this piece of wallboard right here. Uh -huh. I break out the wallboard with a pry bar, revealing the corner bead, a metal strip that reinforces the corner. We need to remove this strip without damaging the interior wall. First, I tap against it with my pry bar. The tapping produces a crack along the edge of the corner bead, which Alan deepens with a utility knife. A few more taps on the corner bead pushes the nail heads slightly out. Alan removes them with a nail puller. Okay, hey, that should come off now. There you go. How's it? Yeah, see? Nice. Yep. Nice. Hey, look who's back. Hey, Riley. <laughs> Riley returns from the parade and helps us measure. Our rough opening is considerably wider than our window, so we'll layer up pieces of lumber on the sides and nail them in place. This is a nailing flange right here. Uh-huh. Okay, we're just going to bend this out. The nailing flange is what allows us to attach our new window to the framing of the house. It also provides a seal. Alan lays a bead of caulk down the center of the flange. Our first of several moisture and air seals. Now we're ready to set the window in place. All right, so we'll set the bottom of the window right on the sill there. Okay. All right. Do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's tip it up. We slide the window in until the flange is in contact with the frame. Then I send Alan inside to make sure the window is centered in the opening. Okay. Yeah, we're 
a little bit low on this corner right here. This corner? Yeah. Okay. So I'll lift it up. Alan, just slip a slip a shim under there, right? Okay. Right on. Perfect. Next, okay. yep. we drive rust-resistant galvanized roofing nails through the flange and into the framing. For places too tight for a hammerhead, Alan uses a drift pin. All right, so we've got a good seal all the way around with this fin or uh -huh. flange right here, right. Uh, except right here in this corner. You can see to cover these down. gaps, we'll use these self-adhesive rubber corner seals. As an additional barrier against air and moisture, we lay in strips of roofing paper and tuck the edges behind the siding using a putty knife. Next, we apply a bead of caulk where the roofing paper meets the edge of the siding. Our second barrier, important since even a small water leak over time can cause significant okay. damage. Now, let's fill up these gaps here, Alan, with these pieces of wood. Uh, just drop it right in there. Okay, here's the last one. We nail in the strips, and now we're ready to attach the trim. We start with the top piece and use a side piece to align the end. Okay, that's good. We use rust-resistant finish nails for the job. Alan adds a final bead of caulk around the trim. I smooth it out using my finger to press the caulk down into the grooves of the siding. Then we head inside. These are called jam extensions. What they do is they extend the jam, this part of the frame, out so that it's flush with the wall. Aptly named, right? Okay. okay. <laughs> Extend and, the jam. And so they go right up here. We attach the jam extensions with a pneumatic pin nailer. Our final step is nailing up the molding. Is that cool? Well, you're going to stay nice and cozy in here now, double panes of glass. But Daddy's got, what, three more to do? Got three more to do. And so I thought I'd leave some of my tools here with you guys to finish really? up the job. So I left Pacific Grove knowing the Martins would do just fine with the rest of the windows. And that with any luck, they would all be installed long before the next year's Butterfly Parade. Goodness.